Thanks for inviting me. I'm Katsuhito Fuju from the University of Tokyo. Today, I'd like to talk about our current AI-based medical practice in Japan and our future vision of medicine. First of all, I painted the future of 2050s medical circumstances. After 30 years, the health and medical information may be possibly collected with small, thin devices or contactless devices from daily life. These big data will generate people's deep phenotype, including lifestyle information and healthcare data information. The AI-based virtual hospital will be founded somewhere. Then, AI hospital will discover early abnormal information and send back how to modify the lifestyle. Besides, the many robotic lifestyle support devices could help the people and restore the people to a healthy state. Most diagnostic processes and most therapies could be done at home. Only if people need a high care, such as open chest operation, current form hospital will be required. I am a cardiologist and handling many life-limiting and acute diseases, such as myocardial infection and severe arrhythmia. Early detection and precise diagnosis are essential. However, these two medical practices need lots of knowledge, data analyzing techniques, and experience. This cartoon is a current patient data flow. Digital patient data, such as electrocardiogram, ultrasound, blood examinations, and X-ray, have been accumulated in the electronic medical records. However, the other data, still obtained by the medical staff based on their experience or knowledge. Moreover, that information is described as analog data. These analog data are hard to use for AI-based medicine. This point is one of the current issues. So we began to digitalize this analog information, such as heart sounds, and skin surface information to use this patient information in AI. We expected multimodal patient data should be input into the AI. A more multimodal information could support medical staff by complementing knowledge, diagnosis, technique, and experience. This flowchart is an example of a present screening system in the heart disease management. If you look at an electrocardiogram, we must decide whether the patient needs additional examinations or not. When the patient are determined to proceed to the additional checking, some patients may have heart disease. However, over half of the patient turn out to be healthy. So this process is a sort of mistake. On the other hand, if the patient are recognized as not need an additional test, most patients may be healthy. But unfortunately, a few patients have a heart failure after this screening. My point is that should positive and should negative depend on the medical staff's skill. If AI-based medicine can support this point, it's useful. Here we show the current approach by the University of Tokyo and the Fujitsu team. We have been combining the electrocardiogram and the several multimodal data and evaluated them by AI. Based on our hospital's massive past patient data, the AI will suggest the necessity of further examination, like an echocardiogram. We hope the AI support the medical staff's burden. In the cardiovascular field, 
the rapid diagnosis and early response for electrocardiogram are often demanded. So in our system, the electrocardiogram data are quickly transferred to the AI. And that allows us to receive the real-time support. Fujitsu electronic medical record system could be applied to the AI. We assume this multimodal and real-time AI algorithm may become a standard tool of the hospital. The most significant concern is its efficacy. Our electrocardiogram AI has run 630,000 electrocardiograms and 140,000 echocardiograms of patients. The AI can predict the cardiac function and vulvar disease with high accuracy. As of now, we suppose this AI system is sufficient to proceed with a clinical study. So we will start a clinical study at our hospital this year. The specific feature of Fujitsu AI technology is TDA technologies. As you know, most patient data have time series data. Especially, electrocardiograms are typical time series data. TDA is a way more time series data friendly technology to pick up the characteristics. We hope the technologies improve AI efficacy on the other medical data. This diagram is the last one. I want to show a futuristic data analysis of healthy people. Most heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia are all lifestyle diseases. But now, medical staff have not seen people's lifestyle information, such as diet, exercise, and sleep. With many upcoming healthcare devices, individuals' big data, including characters of lifestyle, patient daily physical data, and medical record information will be collected. The big individual data was called the deep phenotype. Based on the deep phenotype information, patient data evaluation might be done by AI-supported medical staff. I hope our hospital and the Fujitsu team contribute to the plan at least part of it. Thank you.